Hey everybody, this is Mr. Lee. I'm your math teacher in uh, Math 143, which is Quantitative Literacy this semester. Um, I am in Blackboard underneath the Courses tab, and I'm going to click on our course. Uh, so when you click on the course, uh, there is a chance that this menu will be missing. You can always pull it back out if you want to. Uh, but you'll spend most of your time in the coursework tab. Now, uh, my coursework tab, my, my Blackboard looks a little different than yours because I'm the instructor. Um, so you're going to spend most of your time here. We're going to talk about the coursework tab some, but let's click around the rest of Blackboard. There's a spot for announcements. Any announcement I send out will also be emailed to your uh, student email account. And I will include this video I'm recording right now in an announcement. There's a Start Here tab. It will include uh, this video I'm recording, the syllabus, a uh, video I made on tips for online success, uh, digital calculator. You can click here for the syllabus, or you can click over here. The syllabus will be posted right here. I'm going to go over it with you in just a second. And the Universal Policies and Procedures is right here. We have a Zoom meeting space in case uh, you want to meet with me. Um, coursework tab, instructor contact, campus resource. The Learning Center is offering free online tutoring. It is an incredible resource. Students that regularly participate in tutoring uh, earn a grade better in the class. I would encourage everyone to reach out to tutoring. Uh, campus resources, some Blackboard tools. I don't think you'll ever need this tab. And a discussion post. This discussion board here and this here are the same thing. I have to get you to do the course entry assignment or the computer automatically withdraws you from the course. This has to do with uh, auditing. So please go, just go right now, once you have access to Blackboard, complete the course entry assignment. It should only take you a few minutes, uh, and then you don't have to worry about that. Um, I don't think you'll ever need the Blackboard tutorial thingy here. If you ever have tech issues, this is a link to uh, campus tech support. Okay, uh, let's talk about the syllabus a little bit, which I have pulled up right here. My name is Mr. Lee. Uh, full name is Grady Lee Wilson Withers, but you can call me Mr. Lee. Uh, the best way to get in touch with me is through uh, my email. I'm, I try to respond to students uh, very quickly. Uh, my office is in RLS uh, 1334, and I'm available for virtual meetings. My boss's contact, supervisor, department chair's contact information is right there. This is an online class that uh, takes place uh, asynchronously. Um, last day to withdraw without penalty, so the last day you can withdraw is 9-17. All right, uh, all of your course materials are provided through Blackboard. Uh, My Open Math is fully integrated into Blackboard. Um, so anytime you're in the coursework tab, you're technically using My Open Math you access everything through Blackboard, single logon. No access code, no textbook to purchase. If you just really want to purchase a textbook, um, all of the text is included in each topic. So like, here's the text for scientific notation. You can go through and print these if you want. That's what some people do. Uh, and I, I don't know if y'all really care. Very few students purchase when they can just look at it virtually. But if you shop on Amazon for math and society, you can find fine printed copies. Here's a used copy for $9. I'm sure they're going to charge you shipping. So most students just use it on Blackboard. OK, um, you do need a graphing calculator. And really, you don't need to get an 83 plus, but you need something where you can see the command line, like a TI-33II. 
and I can show you one of those. Let's go with 34 iodine. That's a good calculator. You can find these for $10 or so. Uh, here's an Amazon listing. But you want to be able to, sub the, to review the command line before you hit enter. That's the one thing, because there's some like ugly looking formulas we have to enter. This makes it easier if you can see the command line. So go pick up a cheap calculator. Um, Math 003 is a prereq. Uh, 043 is the co-rec. If you are dropped from the co-rec, you are dropped from this course, so don't do that. Uh, course description, learning outcomes, you can review these. But I will. I will make sure we meet all of our learning outcomes, and you're going to be in good shape to have credit for the class. Uh, we use the ten-point grading scale. And let's talk a little bit about. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's hold off. Let's review the rest of this, and then we'll talk about how your grade is calculated. So, um, I am very hesitant to accept late work. This is a seven and a half week class. Um, and so, I mean, if you fall behind, you're going to be you're going to be way behind really quick. So I'm really hesitant, but but please, if you have extenuating circumstances, please keep me in the loop. The more you keep me in the loop, the more I can do to help you. Uh, keep me in the loop, and uh, I can work with you. Um, I like to do a little bit of extra credit for fun, but it is not going to be a significant part of your grade. Um, so, you know, if you fall behind in the class, I'm, I'm not issuing extra credit to get you caught up. Uh, attendance, um, I do not like withdrawing students. I will not withdraw you if you have a, a path to a passing grade. Uh, but if you miss four assignments, you can be withdrawn from the course. Um, if you are not completing your work, it's, it's generally in, a, in your best interest to withdraw. Um, ADA stuff right here. Okay, here is the uh, pacing guide, and I would encourage you to print this. This is the actually there's a the page five in the syllabus gives you some information on asynchronous online courses. You can read this on your own. Page four. I would really encourage you to print this. Have it magneted onto your refrigerator or your mirror, put it on your nightstand or something. Uh, we typically have an assignment due every Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night. The first day of the semester, Monday, August 16th, there's nothing due. Today, you just become acquainted with the policy and procedures of the class. But moving forward, we do have uh, two days off for Labor Day. But other than these two days for Labor Day, you have something due every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday, you have a homework assignment due. Uh, Monday and Wednesday, you have a lab assignment due. Let's take a look at, let's go to coursework tab here. Let's take a look at a homework assignment. Here's a homework assignment on historical counting. Uh, I was playing around with this earlier. So here we go. Um, here's some instructions. Okay. Uh, here you have a question. You can tell over here you have 99 attempts left. So there is I would give you unlimited attempts, but the software only lets me give you 99 attempts. But you can get a question wrong several times, and here it even gives you a nice like step-by-step -step answer. Get a similar question, get it wrong again, and I'm grabbing a calculator as I talk to you because I'm going to need a calculator to work this out. You can try a question. Let's be, let's switch questions. Why don't we? Um, okay. Mm, I don't know what question we want to do. That's an easy one. Okay. You can try a question multiple, multiple, multiple times, 95 times, 
and then once you get the question correct, you get full credit for that question. So with enough, uh, with enough support and uh, enough time, every student in here can have really strong homework grades. And I want to see really strong homework grades. Students that have strong homework grades always do well in the course. So two homework assignments a week, two lab assignments a week. Let's take a look at a lab assignment. How about we? Let's try this one. OK, the lab assignment, um, everything is shown to you at once. And some labs have this where you have to attach your work for the previous question. Let's submit an in. I'm expecting a poor grade because I didn't attempt anything. I got a zero. Over here, there's a retake button. And it tells you you can take this assignment two more times because I just, I just burned uh, one attempt. Let's pull up another lab. This also lets me make sure I set everything up right. Here you see you have three attempts. You have three attempts on every lab assignment. Only the highest scored attempt is recorded as a grade. All right. Uh, everything's due at 11.55 PM, the date that it appears on the pacing guide. So uh, like this growth model lab I just randomly clicked on, you can see it's due at midnight on September 27th. Okay, uh, tests. There are, let's look at the pacing guide. There are four exams. This is a seven and a half week class. You have an exam every other week and they are due on the weekends. So here's test one, here's test two, here's test three. The exception to the weekend rule, and make sure you're making note of this, is the last exam, which takes place on the last day of the semester, which happens to be a Thursday. So that test is due Thursday night because I don't have a Saturday that I can assign it on. Uh, something that's a little quirky, but it just how the semester worked out. Um, I put by each topic what test uh, that topic will appear on. The tests are not cumulative. Uh, each test is standalone. So these are the topics for test one. But Thursday, the Thursday, Thursday the 26th, the Thursday before test one, you'll actually get started on the topics for test two. And then the Thursday before the test, you get started on the topics for test three. So that's a little quirky. All of the test questions come directly from the homework and the labs. So if you're comfortable doing the homework and lab work, you'll do absolutely fine on the test. You get one attempt on the test. Let's actually, let's look at test one. How about that? All right, so I'm taking a test. In the uh, upper right corner, it actually tells you uh, how much time you have left. Uh, each test has a two hour time limit. There are 14 total questions. I can scroll down here and show you. And then you submit the test once you've answered each question. Again, you get only one attempt. All right. Um, so I think that's about everything I have to say. Uh, what I just said, uh, so in regards to how your grade is calculated, each of those four tests is worth 8%. Homework is worth 40%. Homework is a really big deal. Uh, labs are worth 28%. Uh, your homework grade always projects, almost always projects your class grade. Um, and if you click on my grades, you would expect it to be blank, but you can actually follow how your grade, there's a weighted total here that updates as you work on things. 
The course entry assignment is listed here. Again, I have to list it for auditing purposes, but it's not counting towards anything. But uh, And this is a weird thing about Blackboard. It's not been an issue yet, but it has been an issue in the past that these due dates are not always correct, and I have no way of changing them. I, they are, Blackboard sets them, and sometimes Blackboard just gets it wrong. Okay, so I think that's uh, the highlights. Uh, please reach out if there's anything I can do to help or support you.